All right, buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into the latest saga of Harry and Meghan versus the Realm of Common Sense. This time, the plot thickens with Prince Harry, yes, our very own royal renegade, concocting what can only be described as a half-baked scheme to email the BAFTAs board. His grand plan? To offer himself up as a substitute for Prince William as president. You can't make this stuff up. It's like watching someone try to play chess with checkers pieces. It's not just doomed to fail, it's embarrassingly misguided. Now, while Harry's living out his fantasy of royal musical chairs, let's take a moment to appreciate the actual president, Prince William. There he was, gracing the BAFTAs with the kind of elegance and composure that screams future king. No Meghan in sight, no Harry lurking in the shadows, just William owning the red carpet, engaging with the stars and the public with the kind of charm and grace that you just can't fake. His wife, Princess Kate, is at home recovering from surgery, and his dad's battling cancer. But William, he's the picture of resilience and duty. Contrast that with Harry's latest stunt, and it's like comparing a diamond to a cubic zirconia. Angela Levin, who's practically a royal encyclopedia, couldn't help but gush over William's performance. She's laying it out there, while one brother's stepping up, the other's spiraling into a vortex of delusion and desperation. Harry's attempt to crash the BAFTA party is more than just a faux pas. It's a glaring neon sign of his and Meghan's disconnect from reality. They seem to think they can waltz back into the limelight, ignoring the fact that they've spent the better part of the last few years burning every bridge in sight. And oh, let's not forget Meghan's alleged role in this comedy of errors. The idea that she's behind this plot to schmooze with the A-listers at the BAFTAs is as predictable as it is pathetic. It's like she's treating the royal family like some sort of Hollywood drama she can script and direct. Newsflash, this isn't Suits, and you're not in control of the storyline. The result? A swift and unceremonious uninvitation from the event. Shocked? Neither are we. The cringe doesn't stop there. Harry, in what can only be described as a masterclass in tone deafness, supposedly offers to fill in for his father while King Charles is in treatment. The timing of this so-called offer, along with his laughable dash to see his ailing father, reeks of a desperate grab for positive PR. It's like watching someone try to extinguish a fire with gasoline. Not only does it not work, it makes the whole situation infinitely worse. Let's cut to the chase. Harry and Meghan have morphed into the estranged relatives everyone awkwardly avoids at family gatherings. Their relentless pursuit of attention and relevance at the expense of their family and any shred of dignity they had left, has turned them in pariahs. Harry's ill-conceived attempts to insert himself back into the royal fold, including this BAFTA fiasco, are nothing short of delusional. In the grand scheme of royal duties and responsibilities, William walks the walk with the weight of the future on his shoulders, exuding the confidence and dignity befitting a king. Harry, on the other hand, stumbles around, clueless and out of touch, thinking he can just pop back into the picture whenever it suits him. It's not just misguided, it's downright disrespectful. So as the dust settles on yet another chapter of the Harry and Meghan saga, one thing is crystal clear. Their bridge back to the royal family isn't just burned, it's obliterated. And as they continue to play their games, the rest of us can't help but watch, half amused, half aghast, at the spectacle they've become. Welcome to the world of Harry and Meghan, where reality is optional and the rules don't apply. What a show, folks, what a show.